So in this question, we have this rope that is 1.2 kilogram and it's fixed between two ends, so that's two meters apart, and it has a frequency of five hertz when it's oscillating uh, in the fundamental mode. So fundamental mode looks something like this. So in a fundamental mode, we know the wavelength is twice the length of the length of this rope. So we say that at t equals zero, the rope at one meter, the point at x equals one meter, has zero displacement. And then this rope is moving upward in the positive direction of y-axis, and it has a transverse velocity of 5 meter per second. So from this information, we want to find what is the amplitude of the motion of that point, amplitude y-m. Part b, what is the tension in the rope? Part c, what is the equation for the standing wave? Okay, so let's uh, first look at this part. We can write out uh, the equation that we usually have for a standing wave. So the standing wave has this equation of y equals amplitude sine kx sine omega t. And then it also has a speed u of U is, you take the derivative of y and you'll get omega times ym sine kx cosine omega t. So it also has this maximum speed of omega times ym when the sine cosine part has a uh, 1. So the wave speed v is tau over mu equals square root tau over mu. All right, so I think these are all the informations we will need for this question. I will put everything up in this corner so that we can refer back to it. Okay, so now we can look at the actual um, question. Part A asks us, what is the maximum uh, amplitude of one meter that is at the center? So the maximum amplitude of at this point is equal to the maximum amplitude of the standing wave because this point is where it's an anti node, it's where the amplitude is a maximum. So this is equal to um over omega because we know the maxima u is a relationship of omega times ym. So um here is 5 meter per second and omega is 2 pi times f. So 2 pi times f is 5 hertz. So 5 over 10 pi and this is equal to 0 0.16 meter. Then part B asks us to find what tau is. And again, we can, if you look at this equation, it's a right corner over here. We can find tau from the velocity of the wave because tau is equal to mu times v squared. How do we find mu over here? Uh, we know that it has a weight of 1.2 kilogram. So 1.2. 2 kilogram and then it has a length of 2.0 meter that is a mu and then we can find the velocity because velocity equals f times l f times lambda velocity equals f times lambda so frequency here is 5 hertz and lambda because this is fundamental wave so lambda so wavelength is two times the length of the string so that is 4.0 meter, and we have a square. So we have a tension of 240 Newton. Finally, we want to write out this equation. So here we look back at 
this equation for the standing wave and we can just find the corresponding parameters and put it in. So maximum amplitude, we know it's 0 0.16 meter. Sine k is, what is k? Uh, we can find k by looking at the wavelengths because k equals 2 pi over lambda. And here, because lambda is 4.0 meter, so k is equal to pi over 2. Go to pi over 2 because k equals 2 pi over lambda equals 2 pi over 4 equals pi over 2. And if we like, we can also give it a unit. Um, so that is per meter. Is it? We can have sine omega t. Omega is 2 pi f. So we actually find what omega is over here. Omega is 10 pi times t. So this is the equation we have for the standing wave.